translated from Amharic to English, www.onlineadoctranslator.com. A little explanation for all readers. The lesson of Ethiopianness is one of the lessons given in the Ethiopian world light. Family. This lesson is published on Revelation 20 as well as on other partner messaging telegram. Pages. The main purpose of the text change is that the lesson will strengthen the faith of the families of the world light of Ethiopia, because reminders are given with the time, and it is also designed to make it accessible to those who cannot hear by voice, to the deaf families of the world light of Ethiopia. The second and main emperor Theodore III told us that because the existence of the world is unknown, unreliable, or that the soft copy of the telegram, the entire network may suddenly be cut off, we have prepared the lesson in written form, understanding that it is better to keep it on paper, file. The table below summarizes the release time, audio duration, and page count of the products. Ethiopianism. Education. Release time voice duration number of pages. Section 1 AM the 3rd of July, 2014 57 minutes and 07 seconds, 57 hours 7 minutes. Section 1 B the 3rd of July, 2014 1 hour 04 minutes 05 seconds, 64 hours 5 minutes, 28. Section 1 C the 3rd of July, 2014 1 hour 00 minutes 30 seconds, 60 hours 30 minutes. Part 2 D the 10th of August, 2014 1 hour 15 minutes 16 seconds, 75 hours 16 minutes. Section 2 E the 10th of August, 2014 1 hour 10 minutes 56 seconds, 70 hours 56 minutes, 34. Part 2 F the 10th of August, 2014 1 hour 02 minutes 18 seconds, 62 hours 18 minutes. Section 3 G the 16th of August, 2014 1 hour 00 minutes 28 seconds, 60 hours 28 minutes. Section 3 H the 16th of August, 2014 1 hour 06 minutes 04 seconds, 66 hours 4 minutes, 34. Part 3 D the 16th of August, 2014 1 hour 20 minutes 15 seconds, 80 hours 15 minutes. Ethiopian Education. Ethiopia World Light Ethiopian Education. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the One God, Amen. Ethiopia is the manifestation of the glory of the Trinity and the land of thanksgiving. The Virgin Mary of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is the light of the world. Ethiopia is the ruler of the world. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Trinity of Abraham praise be to your name. May gratitude flow to you like an unceasing stream forever and ever. Good medicine our life, our salvation, our God. Thanks be to you forever and ever. My mother virgin my mother, my pure and innocent mother, queen of heaven and queen of earth, may your name be glorified and praised forever and ever. Honorable, beloved, and devoted to his glory, who are always in the service of his will, our intercessors, our guardians, our creators, holy archangels, may your name be glorified and praised forever and ever. Our holy fathers, mothers, holy martyrs, Prophets, Apostles by God may your name be glorified and praised as the tidings of our salvation, the tidings of our salvation, the pillars and foundations of our unified faith, who are loved by love and faithful to his word, to his will, to all good works, Amen. Good morning to you, dear family of Ethiopia's world light. The Prince and the Virgin favorites. Our God who brought us to this hour the Trinity of Abraham praise be to his name. Virgin praise be to our mother, our blessing, our intercessor. Today's topic is Ethiopianism. Is that Ethiopianism? How we understand Ethiopianness is our biggest topic that we intend to express our understanding among our Ethiopian world light families. When we learn this lesson, my fellow citizens, with understanding, patience and perseverance, as I reminded you at the end when we Closed the lesson of the Acts of the Apostles last time, ask others and you will know what answer you got about being Ethiopian. To help you compare that with the truth we are raising in the eyes of love. And even after you understand it. I swear asking, Virgin ask for more confirmation or explanation on this topic that we have taught, 
or ask questions about the accuracy of the teaching. God whatever you can be satisfied with, we recommend that you choose the best. Although the topic requires a wide survey that cannot be answered in a short lecture or explanation, we will summarize and summarize the basic points that we think are worth mentioning. Therefore, we do not believe that all the secrets of Ethiopianism can be explained in one short lesson. Ethiopianism. It's deep. Especially for those of us who see with the eyes of faith, it is a title. Full of great mystery, it is a glorious name. By God face is a glorious name. All the names, on earth. 3. Ethiopian education. In front of everyone who calls them, when we start from the point of view of names, it is not only the names of countries that are kept only for name calling, but the manifestation of Ethiopianness is a mystery to those who believe in it. I swear for those who understand in his form, God it is a great name for anyone who knows how to cultivate it. Of God when the word tells us that if there is no vision, the people will be miserable. God if he doesn't reveal the secret, God if he does not teach us in different ways through his vision and advice, the problem of understanding and grasping the truth will be highlighted. And this is because we have a basic enemy. On our side, we have an enemy, the devil, and our body that we wear is one of the tools of the enemy that stabs us. Together, these prevent us from being in touch with the truth, so every time, every hour we will. God whenever we do God through visions, he gives his advice in different ways, points the way, reveals mysteries, and informs us of everything that is his will. That's why of God without vision, of God if there is no guidance, the people will become weak and perish. Likewise in this example of God he says she will test every word. Every time we say let's follow the word, trust it, let's know it, she will test it. He is a shield to those who trust in his word. You will find this word here in the example in chapter 30. As well David in the seventh part of the psalm, many, many of us see them today, we have faith, we are Ethiopians, we know the way. But the word says that they loved him only with their mouths, lied to him with their tongues, and their hearts were not jealous of him. Pay attention. Their hearts were not jealous of him. They are liars, not in their hearts but in their mouths. I swear they do not have a trustworthy heart, their heart is their mouth for the devil for God. Pay attention. As you can see today, it is likened to bread and political gain. And the rulers are saying that Ethiopianism came up here and came down here. They only liked it with their mouths because they believed that it was only good for meat profit. They lied to him. With the same tongue. They are shameless and lied to him. Their hearts are not jealous of him. From God I am not jealous because they are liars. Their hearts are not jealous of him because they are loyal to the devil, traitors who trade in the truth. And they did not believe in the promise. This is the biggest point, my friends. Even today, our enemies and these I swear you will see how the haters, those who are engaged in the world of business, those who are engaged in the world of politics, those who are engaged in the world of destruction, those who use the word to sell, those who claim to be people of faith, and those who claim to be political people, lie about Ethiopianness. And their hatred is in their hearts. You will also see the hatred towards the united orthodoxy of our faith. Their hatred is in their hearts. All this in their hearts is the will of the devil. They did not believe in the covenant. How can you trust, my friends? Who is full in their hearts? Because it is impurity, hypocrisy, lies, deception, murder, bloodshed, treachery, fraud. It is not a promise in public, no. God they are the ones who speak and testify that the covenant that he speaks will not be fulfilled. Among them, they do not know that Ethiopian is a mere meaning, a mere word, but a noble word, we hear and listen to Ethiopianism as a political cover, because the people love Ethiopianism. And with that cover, we implement our will, our thoughts, our wishes, who's the lust of the devil, the lust of the flesh, the lust of this world. 
we will implement their way of destroying the world as an international organization, and we will take it out of the hearts of the people and throw it away methodically. Because there is a lot of mystery in Ethiopianism, the devil rather than us people of faith. 4. Ethiopian Education He armed them extensively to hate Ethiopianism. So my friends, that's why we say the topic is deep. Even if we explore it and put it in a little bit in a nutshell, Ethiopianism is a big topic, a deep topic, so we recommend you to follow it with understanding as a starting topic. Ethiopianism Today our topic is Ethiopianism. This word is deep. This word is a word that contains many mysteries. It's a combination. The most beautiful of those who are united, not in name but in being, the great joy that he lived in, not as a name, but as a being, together with the Trinity, together with the Trinity of Abraham, who allowed him to be called by his name. The Trinity of Abraham Ethiopianism is a great word that unites us with the Trinity, with their will, with their commands, with the path of light that they have set. How can we define Ethiopianism? How Ethiopians are hated in this whole world, you don't hear the whole world. Raising Ethiopianism for good and not for evil, it is a destruction in the secret campaign, and it is clearly for destruction. They use Ethiopianism as an example of bad things. They use Ethiopia as an example for hunger, destruction, poverty, and war. This is what is being done nowadays. But who is running the campaign? Who will destroy Ethiopianism? Since all the devil's kingdoms, followers, rulers, people of faith are under him in the global heaven, the great agenda that he gives them is to destroy Ethiopianism, to make him hate, to make people not see him, to make him not to understand him. You did it. Except for a few, unless you push, push hard and understand the secret. What is the connection between Ethiopianism and faith or faith itself, truth, hope and love? Why are you connected? Why do they appear mixed up? Why can't mankind help them? Why? What is the secret surrounding this Ethiopianism? We will discuss it in detail in the next round. My friends of God people. God in today's time, in this evil age, in the midst of a billion to eight billion people, why has he singled out all of Adam's race and gathered and carried it as a family of the world's light in Ethiopia and embraced and supported all the gentle, sincere and humble people. This is not an identity acquired by our will, our ability, our knowledge, our wisdom, our research, our wealth, our energy. This happened by itself in the good medicine world, Abraham's trinity, by virgin. It's a choice. You may be surprised. When you examine your own essence, how did he love me, why did he choose me, what am I, what have I done? What I know, what I understand is that I am a small person, that I am guilty, that I am guilty. How did you choose me for this license? Why did he choose me for his glorious will? It is a topic that arises in the minds of many real Ethiopian world light families. This thought may arise in many of your hearts. Your thoughts, all of us and myself, what I am saying in front of you today, I am also falling into wrongdoing, destruction, evil, and sin. I swear I have lived in order. How did he choose us? Like you, I share this idea. Well, we all share this. To understand the truth of this, go to your family, your grandparents, the life journey and the Perseverance of faith by God check the trust they had in front, that's it. You will find the truth in that. Direction. Maybe not what you did God subtle God is the custodian of his word, he respects his word. If he likes, he likes. Our fathers in their lives, our mothers in their lives in their faith I swear if you. Enjoyed it God the promise that he made over and over again. 5. Ethiopian education. He said. If you keep my words, my commandments, my will, my order, and stick to me, and trust in me, my mercy will extend to your descendants for a thousand generations. But he also says that if you are against my 
will, if you despise me, if you do not believe in me, if you follow other gods, your descendants will be destroyed. For seven generations. If we look at it in detail according to the word, in Torah Deuteronomy, chapter 28, chapter 29, chapter 30, in a series God what can he do for the Israelites if they go by the law, if they go by his will, and if they go out of his will. He has laid down what will happen to them, what disaster they will face. These are the words he spoke to his servant Moses. Over and over again, my friends. Let's see. Chapter 28 of the Torah in Deuteronomy says, And so it will be, says God of God if you listen to the word and do all my commandments that I have commanded you today, even if you keep them, your God God he will exalt you above all the nations of the earth. And your God of God if you hear the word, all these blessings will come to you. You will be blessed with your beauty and grace, and you will be blessed with your entry, and you will be blessed with your exit. And God he will make your enemies who stand above you smitten before you. They will come at you in one way and flee from you in seven ways. God he commands the blessing to descend on you in your barn and in all the work of your hands. Your God God he will bless you with the land he will give you. Your God of God if you wait for orders, if you follow the path God he will establish you as a holy people for him. Remember, he will establish you as a holy people for him. So keep in mind that he is standing as a holy nation, a beloved nation. All the nations of the earth, all the nations of the earth of God they will fear you when they see that you have been called a name. And God on your land, the fruit of your stomach, the fruit of your cattle, the fruit of your field, which he swore to the ancestors to give you. God he will multiply his goodness upon you. And God he will open the sky for you to give rain to your land in the months, and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow from anyone. I have commanded you today of God if you hear the command and wait for it, even if you do it, take note of these words if I command you today. If I command you today, do not turn aside from these words to the right or to the left, and do not follow other gods to worship them. God he will make you head and not tail, and you will always be above and not below. But says your God of God if you don't listen to the word, if you don't keep all the order and commands that I ordered you today, even if you don't do it, all these curses will come to you, they will find you. For those who don't listen like this, you will be cursed in the city, you will be cursed in your farm, your beauty and your wealth will be cursed, cursed be the fruit of your belly the fruit of your earth, the fruit of your cow, the breeder of your cow, the breeder of your sheep. You will be cursed in your field, cursed will be your love and devotion. The fruit of your stomach, the fruit of your land, the shepherd of your sheep will be cursed, and you will be cursed for going in and going out. Because you have forsaken me, because you have forsaken me, and because of the evil of your work, hurry up and pass away in all that you do. God he curses you, flees, reprimands, God he will make the pestilence stick to you until he destroys you. From the land you are entering to inherit. God you will be smitten with sores, fevers, sores and fevers. Droughts, warts and heathens. God the rain of your earth will turn it into dust and dust, and it will come. Down from the sky until you perish. God he will strike you down before your enemies. 6. Ethiopian Education you will go up against them in one way, and you will flee from them in seven ways. And you will be a terror to all the kingdoms of the earth. This is how much damage the cursed person will face from Torah Deuteronomy chapter 20. 8 God this is what the word tells us, how the blessings and curses that he has placed follow the generations, how the destruction from our ancestors extends, how it is passed on to the next generation. As we mentioned above the fruit of your womb will be cursed. It says that the fruit of your womb will be cursed. Let's go on. Your wife will play with someone else. He will sleep with her. You will build a house and not live in it. You will plant a vineyard and not eat from it. Your sons and daughters will be given to another nation, and your eyes will see, and they will always be wasted. 
and nothing will be found in the power of your hand, and the fruit of your land will be eaten by a nation that does not know your labor. You will always be worried, pushed, and crazy because of what your eyes see God it will come to your knees and thighs from the soles of your feet to the top of your head with a bad wound. And God the King who reigns over you. And God the King who reigns over you will take you to a nation that you and your fathers have not known. Then you worship other gods of wood and stone. And God and you will become an example of terror among all the nations that meet you. And your hand will bring forth seed, and it will be devoured. So today is called an election, let's not elect a government. Yes. What will the government that we elected do to us in return? This is what you see today, the generation of the cursed people I swear because he forgot, he was handed over to damned leaders, damned people. This is important I swear it is the result of disobedience. You plant a vine, you harvest it, and you eat it, and you don't gather anything from it and you don't drink the wine. The olive tree will be a burden to you. Your sons and your daughters will be born to you, for they will go into captivity, and they will not be yours. A wicked man among you will rise up against you. This is what we are seeing today. A person from anywhere will reign over you in your village, your neighborhood, where you are, where you were born, where you grew up. You are damned. He will lend you money but you will not lend it to him. He will be the head and you will be the tail. Isn't this what we see today my people? And your God of God he says it's because you didn't hear a word. And because you did not keep the commandments that he commanded you, all these curses will come down on you until you perish. This is the most important thing for you and your children. Because your God gave you Everything I swear because I did not worship you with joy and happiness, with hunger and thirst, and with nakedness, losing everything. God you will obey your enemies who send you. He will put an iron yoke on your neck until they destroy you. God he will bring you from the far end of the earth like an eagle flying a people whose language you do not know, whose faces are hard, who do not shy away from the old man, and who do not teach the child. They will eat the fruit of your cattle and the fruit of your land until you perish. They will not leave you your grain, your wine oil, your cows, or your sheep until they destroy you. Those who are in your land, whom you trusted, will surround you at all the gates of your cities until the walls of the day are broken. 7. Ethiopian Education When you suffer, when your enemies suffer, your God God you will eat the fruit of your belly, the flesh of your sons and daughters. May the man who was gentle and always lived with you be loved by his brother, by his wife who sleeps in his arms, and by his children who love him. When your enemies have surrounded you in your gates and afflicted you and afflicted you, there is nothing left for you to eat. In the name of the Father, it is very difficult, my people. Let us not let all this curse flow, let all this destruction not come of God my people, this is what all this is about. As there is a blessing, there is a curse. God when angry, I swear when we offend, when we deny him, when we think arrogantly about what will happen. When we don't listen when advice is poured out, I swear how can we live in peace as a despised people? How do we want to live? I swear they are doing wrong, yes, my people, curses and blessings will follow for all this to happen. I swear for a generation that doesn't look, doesn't listen, of God these curses follow. Those who do not listen to permission, who do not listen, who do not listen to rebuke. And if he hears, the blessing will follow him. The benefit is not only for himself, my people, the benefit is for all his people, for the whole race. It will benefit all descendants after him. Whose products are we, those generations, who raised this whole thing. Whose work are we? By God what did our fathers, mothers, grandparents do? What did you do that's why I said go back and watch this. God when he blesses, he clings to you with all the truth, and puts all the good things out of your mind, he will make you receive his blessings. But this is what happens to us God it is when we bow down, when a good 
deed follows us from behind. It is when a good deed follows us. Pay attention to this word. It is the plant that you have been planting since your father, your grandfather, your great-grandmother, and your great-grandmother. If it is a curse, the curse will follow you. If it is a blessing, the blessing will grow and reach you. God it's true. God it's true. He is a faithful God. God is the judge according to your work. Honest judgment. He gives you balance according to your work, and he is a God who honors his word. The word says that it is easier if they pass through the heavens and the earth. The word is sure. That is the word that governs us. Let's be in. No time of God word is a buyer. This is why we are required to see these three chapters. It is because it is useful to know what we should rise from in the heart, what we should be in order to rule Ethiopianism. If blessing follows us, it will help us to live with Ethiopianism in our hearts God the Holy Spirit is it. He is what is planted in our hearts. He is what keeps us going. It helps us with the food we get from our families. Their food, spiritual food. Their good food, their good deeds, by God the good things they have done, their love, these things, the blessings that flow from them, come to us and help us. It leads us to good things. Do not doubt this my friends. Because it's right. You can see all the generations of Adam with this eye. Why did this happen? Sometimes you can see a little bit of good in that person and suddenly you see them dealing with damage beyond their control. God why does he do this, you say? You should not judge without knowing the history of the past, without understanding the nature of the food of the ancestors who came from the past. Is it good? Is it evil? And their work has results. It decides on life. So let's get to the point. I am asserting this so that this will be the basis for you as I try to make you know in depth what it is when we elaborate further on being Ethiopian. 8. Ethiopian Education He says to you, the woman who was soft and lived in a time of poverty, who did not put her feet on the ground because of softness and poverty, envied her husband who was sleeping with her arms around her, her son and her daughter, the placenta that came out between her legs, and the children she would give birth to. She will be jealous. And when your enemies surround you in the gates and trouble you and make you suffer, she secretly eats them. Because she has lost everything. This shows the weight of distance, damn distance. If you do not expect to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, and this God God be careful not to be afraid of the name that is said. Praised and feared. Don't be afraid. God plague and the plague of your descendants and the great plague that will last. For many years will make you a bad disease that will last for many years. And all the diseases of Egypt, which you feared, will bring you again, and will bind you. And until every disease and every plague that is not written in the book of this law is destroyed. God he will bring you of your God of God because you have not heard the word, your number, which was like the stars of the sky, remains few because of your multitude. And God just as he was pleased to do good to them, to multiply you, and to do it to you God he delights in destroying you and tearing you down. You will be uprooted from the land you are entering to possess it. And God it will spread to all the nations from the ends of the earth to the ends of the earth. There you worship other gods, wood and stone, which you and your fathers have not known. You will not find rest among those nations. As you have seen many times. Our people who are scattered in this Arab country, go abroad to different places and serve people, people. They do not know other people. It is not eating or drinking, but seeing their toil, toil, and suffering, one. Wonders why they are scattered. Of course some God there are those who bless them wherever they go. That is for their good. And those who are evil will fall into pain. This is something we should always keep. Our eyes on. It will not be a place for your shoes. And there God a trembling heart, pale eyes, and a weak soul will. Bring you. And your soul hesitates, you fear night and day, and you do not trust in your life, for the fear of. 
your heart that you are afraid of, and for the opinion that you see in your eyes, morning, when will it be? Better. You say, madame, when will it dawn? You say. You will not see her again the way I told you God he. Will bring you back to Egypt by ship. You see, he will take you back to Egypt in a ship. It will bring you back. To your old bad life. I swear because I despise you I swear because of your disobedience, he will return you. To the old Egyptian life, to a life of futility, to a life of misery and pain, there you will sell yourselves to your enemies to become slaves of men and women, there is no one to buy you. Even if you do this, when you are wandering in the land of men, when you are suffering, you will lose the Lord who tells you to serve me, so you see what cursing is. All the chaos you see in the world today does not jump from these two points. Is it because the whites are blessed because they are good? Is it because their ancestors are good that we are punishing them as slaves? Are we like this? Some thought may arise that, is not. No, my friends. The Egyptians were not rich, were they? And so of God were their people. Is not, the Egyptians were children of the devil in their time. When this word was obeyed, they were doing impurity. They were idolaters. But the people of Egypt of God people were enslaved. So damn yourselves if you're already gone I swear you should not be compared with disbelieving people. When the nation of Israel was scattered, crushed, hunted, persecuted, and suffered all those hardships. The other nations lived everywhere like the animals. I swear it is the Gentiles who do not know. 9. Ethiopian education. And God it is the people who left it. We have seen him disappear from his work. How many kingdoms did the Israelites destroy when they went to Canaan? God. He said that the God would have destroyed the cattle, the animals, the man, the child, the child, the old man. Because from the beginning I swear those who lived while fighting I swear they denied it for a second I swear they have disappeared from the face of the earth because they did not think. Even today, no matter how high you see them, no matter how big they seem to you, tomorrow, their loss will come suddenly like a rushing water, making them full and leaving them without even a trace of bitterness. Therefore, there is no need to be jealous of their height and the height of the nations. God all wisdom and wealth without wealth is empty. And the end is the same end, it is to hell. It's to hell. This lesson is for us to prevent all this from happening. However, Ethiopianism is not seen according to the standard of the world today. There are many names in the world today. There are about 200 or so countries, my friends. They all have names. We should not be judged by associating our own name with theirs. All their names originated from the nations, such as the Amalekites, the Jebusites, the people who were fighting Israel at that time, the big kingdoms, they had all those names, they had a name like a country. They all disappeared. God destroyed them. They are the ones who don't have a name. From God they don't have a familiar name. And God he does not know them. The devil told them. From God they were left without a history because they were placed to fight with, to conflict with his will, they are included in Sheol, reserved for hell. Ethiopianism, however from God it is a name attached to God it is a name that has been known since ancient times from our ancestors and our ancestors. God it's the name he gave them. Ethiopian, Ethiopia. Yellow gold, gem, is the meaning of its ancient name. This glorious name God Oxen Oxen is the name. He honored today by God we are the people we are today because of our evil deeds, which created a country that would make you look down. This generation is responsible. We are responsible for all the generations here. Let's read chapter 29. God these are the words of the covenant that he commanded Moses to make. With the children of Israel in the land of Moab, apart from the covenant he made at Horeb. They are words of promise. It's because we don't keep them, it always comes from not knowing the commands and the permission. Moses called all the children of Israel and said to them, God you have seen the great trials, great 
miracles and wonders that your eyes have seen before you in the land of Egypt by Pharaoh and all his servants, and all that he did in all the land. God but he has not given you an understanding heart, eyes to see, and ears to hear until today. Forty years I led you in the wilderness, your clothes are not worn out, and your shoes are not worn out on your feet. I am your God God you have not eaten bread, nor drunk wine or strong drink, so that you may know that I am. When you came to this place, Sion, king of Hezbo, and Erg, king of Bashan, came out to attack us, and we defeated them. We took their land and gave it to Reuben, Gad, and Manus as an inheritance. Therefore, in all that you do, keep the words of this covenant and do them. All of you, your chiefs, your tribes, your elders, your officials, all the people of Israel, your children, your women, and the stranger who cuts your wood and draws your water in your camp, this day by your God. 10. Ethiopian Education By God you are standing in front. That is, to raise you up today as his people, and to be your God, as he spoke to you, as he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God to make a covenant with you today and your God of God to hear an oath. And I make this promise and this oath not only with you, but today in our God by God the faces with the man who stands here with us, but with the man who is not here with us today, with someone who doesn't exist. Moses speaks this word when he indicates that this word will last forever throughout the world. This promise is not only with the people of Israel who were found on time God note what he said. And he says, let me repeat his words, I make this promise and this oath not only with you, but today in our God by God the faces. With the person who stands here with us, with the person who is there on time and with the person who is not here with us today, it's the same with someone who isn't on time. But for you know that we dwelt in the land of Egypt, and that we passed among the nations through which you passed, and that you saw their uncleanness and their idols of wood and stone, silver, and gold, that were with them. From God let not a man or a woman, or a tribe, or a tribe, break his heart today, do not have a root that grows gall and aloes. And the man who hears the words of this curse, if there is one, who blesses his body in his heart, saying, even if I go with hardness of heart, and if I add drunkenness to my thirst, it will be peace for me of God his anger and jealousy will boil over that person God he will not forgive him, all the curses written in this book will be on him. And God he will blot out his name from under heaven. And God has written in the book of this law, according to the curse of the covenant, he will be separated from all the tribes of Israel for destruction. Yes to the disobedient, to the disobedient, after that, a generation that will arise, and your children who will be after you, and a stranger who will come from a far country, the scourge of this country. And God the pain he caused her, and the earth was burnt with dung and salt in all its parts, so that she would not sow or grow, and no grass or vegetation would grow on her. God when they saw that in his wrath and destruction they had become like Sodom and Gomorrah, like Adamar and Sibao, all the nations said, God why did he do this on this earth? And what is this great scourge of wrath? They say. And people say, God of their fathers God because they forsook the covenant he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt, and worshipped and bowed down to other gods that they did not know and did not obey, so that he may bring down on her all the curses written in this book of God anger was kindled in this land. As they are today God he uprooted them from their land in wrath and pestilence and great fire, and cast them into another land. The secret to our God for God is it, but it was revealed to us and to our children forever that we should do all the words of this law. This is what Deuteronomy chapter 29 puts it like this. My people, how deep and how hard this commandment is, the curse and the blessing, what is its origin, and the secret to our God. For God he says it is. What is revealed is the rules of this. 11. Ethiopian Education. He says that it is for us to do words forever and also for our children. It is Moses who is witnessing this. Word. 
from God when he told his people the secret he understood, he meant that this word would be for all of us. For all mankind. We will read chapter 30 and then move on to our topic. Look at this word. With understanding. After you understand each of these terms, you will understand what it means when we examine Ethiopian this more closely. And so it shall be, all these things that I have placed before you, the blessing and the curse, when it comes down to you, your God God when you are in the midst of all the nations where you are, when you think in your heart, go to your God God when you and your children obey the word with all your heart and soul, as I command you today, your God God he will restore your spoils. This, my friends, is the biggest point. It is possible to recover from destruction. It is possible to get out of the misery you are in. Back from the world of destruction. By God falling face with a whole heart with a whole thought with a whole soul God this is now that it is not falling. Into man. Do not fall for someone God you see. If you do this, your God God he will restore your prey and have. Mercy on you. And your God God he will gather you back from among all the nations where you have been. Scattered. If your people have migrated to the end of the sky, your God God then he will collect you, then he will bring you to the land your fathers inherited God he will marry you, you will inherit her. And he will do good to you, and multiply you more than your fathers. And that you may live, your God I swear to love your God with all your heart and all your soul God he will cut off your heart and the heart of your descendants. Take care of your God God he will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants. He will turn the heart of every child. You bear to him. And your God God all this curse will come upon your enemies and those who hate you and persecute you. When you are good, he goes to the bad and sticks to it God. And on those who hate them, you will see it with your own eyes. You go back to your God of God you will hear the word, and you will do all the commandments that I command you today. And your God of God if you listen to the word, if you keep the commandments and regulations written in the book of the law, then with all your heart and all your soul you will go to your God. God if you return, God for your God will again be pleased with you in all good things, as he was pleased with your father's God he will greatly bless you with all the work of your hands, the fruit of your stomach, the fruit of your cattle, and the fruit of your fields. You see, this is what I am bringing up. It is when we fail to be like our fathers that we see all the pain and suffering following us. Why? My friends, we are measured by the work we do. Today. The suffering of our ancestors helps us to repent and return to their good life. We have a tool for repentance God you can recover from a mistake by going and falling. As you all know. We, the light families of the Ethiopian world, are not calling for repentance, but for all the descendants of Adam to repent. God to return and God not to teach him to heal him. Yes. Still. This minute, this second, we read all this, we speak, we advise, we remember, we teach, and we try to reach you, so that the people will repent. To the God we said not to turn back to a person. So that he could turn his face. Now there are some things we hear about this. When we say. Repent with his whole heart, with his whole mind, with his whole soul. God he fell on his face. And confessed and went with his own thoughts God it's falling. He shed tears from his heart and. Repented and had mercy on me. Forgive me, my God. 12. Ethiopian education. Said God he feels it. But what are some doing now? When we say repent, they want a priest. They see. Her work. Note that just to perform the ritual, the priest will order prostration, they will pray for this. Day and that will be done. My father says, I am done, I have prayed, I have fasted. They say that this. Is what I destroyed for them. No, it's good, I pray this much, they say, this day is perfect. He will do. That. This will happen again tomorrow. This will be repeated from tomorrow. This will be repeated. From then on. After that, we always do this as a habit. Repentance is what we can do to fill the. System. 
Repentance, my people, is not what we pass by. Repentance by God we fell down and repented for all the bad mistakes we have made by God when we are doing this from the heart while bowing down, crying, shedding our tears, being hungry, thirsty, and regretting our wrongdoings. God immediately, immediately he heard us at that moment. Please note, my friends, the representative did not say that he did not listen to you God. There are many people of our people who have fallen in different places in Baha where there is no priest. They cry and shout, they cry about their sins, the sins of the people, and many other things. There are many, many those who have fallen alone in the absence of a priest. If the priest does not arrive, will they not be saved? God. It's not like that. God no matter where we are, no matter where we are, with all your heart, with all your thoughts. God shout to me, I will save you, he said God. By this I do not mean that the priest is not needed. There is nothing that prevents us from going to church in a comfortable place, in a good and peaceful time and doing this. If there is one thing that prevents us, is the priest himself a priest? Is the priest himself within his authority? Is that priest who can release us from prison to do this with his authority, is he a priest who respects his priesthood? This is the big point, folks. Is it Elias stood alone God as a slave who stopped alone by God Elijah stood as a prophet, not a priest. But he is a prophet. The priests are the priests of Israel by God those who place idols in the temple and worship Baal Zebwail, those who worship Ahab and Jezebel those who submit to the queen and the king, like today, like today, there, are all the chief priests in the United Orthodox Church. It means those who implement government policy. It means like them, those who submit to the king and his wife, those who reign over idols in their hearts, who reign over Baal Zedwail, who reign over the devil, who accept his evil deeds, but the priests of God we are servants. They competed. They competed with Elijah, with the prophet Elijah. Isn't this written? Of God is it not a word that says this? What is Elijah? Offer your sacrifices to yourselves and make your own sacrifices there to yourselves and to God if you hear the cry. If I am guilty and you are right God listen and answer. What? Judge by fire, by fire God Elias said that he will give judgment. And the priority is yours. Just shout, pray, eat, and eat as you please. Offer your sacrifice, but for yourselves, you have nothing to do with me, they said. They screamed all day, tearing their legs and shedding all their blood. There is no answer, folks. Of God they were not priests, they had renounced their priesthood. They were abandoned and devoted to demons. I swear. They were despised and God they were despised. How do they feel? Later it was around 10 p.m. So. Your God may have gone to a far country, may be sleeping, and your strength has gone to the point. Of mockery. Whether he came or not, they failed. In the end, he said, if you can't do it, you can't do. It, so let me see it. When I mix the offering separately from them, the offering separately. 13. Ethiopian Education. Elias did not even make a sound for a minute without mixing with them. Oh my God, listen. To me, he said, I am your slave, he said, he is faithful, I am your slave, he said. I'm a slave. I'm the youngest slave, my people take note of God a servant knows his place. Nothing else. By God even if the face is big, it is not because of the work God the gift he received by the grace he gave I swear he bows low. He will accept his slavery, he will accept his servitude. After his glory has passed God it will be revealed in the future when it will be received with greatness. But what did Elijah say? Let me be your servant. For your name's sake, your people have perished. I am your servant. He said that it will be known that you alone are the God of Israel and that you alone are the great God. God before he had finished. Speaking, he came in fire. Came God a God who is faithful to those whom they trust, a God. 
who is beloved to whom they trust, a God who answers those who trust in their hearts. Immediately and instantly. Do you do this now, your current generation? Now you have a bishop, a priest, a priest. What kind of people, teacher, what do you do? Try this. Can you have the heart? I am a priest. I am a bishop. I am a shepherd. Shout out, shout out, all this hell is coming down on. Ethiopia, why don't you stop it? You say that you are the father of repentance from misleading the people while you are being hunted in every village. Good medicine aren't you? Ashamed when you stand in front of people and talk about the wound. Don't you feel ashamed? Aren't you going to repent yourself first? You fall I swear you're not sorry, ah? You. If you throw away the priesthood, you will not pick it up, will you? If you don't save yourself, who will you save? You argue for the church. The church is everywhere. The church came to repent by God face honestly and honestly I swear for everyone who believes. From God it is where it meets. The ark stood there alive God the Holy Spirit it is a place to sit and judge. But you are shameless in front of him, who commits adultery in front of the ark. Who denies the order and violates the law, who denies, despises, who has regrets, who has violated all the dogmas, who has thrown the priesthood on the field, because you are empty with only your robe left on you and only your name left on you. God he left you. No matter where you go, you are the ones who are trying to save people. You will be judged. Elias just said this, I will not associate with you, I will not mix my sacrifice, offer it to yourself. And listen. Of course, with these same 400 priests, the entire nation of Israel was lined up. The king, the queen, all the priests of the nation of Israel were gathered, but Elijah stood. Alone. Of God people you see today of God the light families of the Ethiopian world, you. Kicked them out of the church, they were seen as unclean, despised, hated, heretics, what. Is your name. But for what it's worth, it won't stick. Your name is your name, your taxes are. Yours. Elias said, sacrifice to yourself, you heretic. When we go to church, we make our. Own sacrifice. We pray. We worship, we worship. Of God home is not your own home. Of God. A house is not personal property. If we don't agree with you, if we don't join in your evil. Deeds, and if we don't approach you, it is our right to come before the ark of the law and. Enter the church, but keep the order and pray. The result. 14. Ethiopian education. It is a visible future. Do you mix our offering with your offering? It means that Yama has joined us in our evil deeds. And that will not be done. This is what Elijah did. He offered his sacrifice God he came back with fire. Who is it of God the answer? Elijah's prayer. The shouts of 400 priests, the shouts of the people, the shouts of the king. The shouts of the queen brought nothing. He brought fire. Elijah's cry alone, he offered his sacrifice. Alone. This is the point that you should keep in mind. Why didn't you do that? Are we walking to fall? Under the feet of the traitors or what? Is it to highlight their worship? Isn't it enough that they destroy the church that they worship? After we realize the truth, should we go back to their evil deeds and mess with them? God they are not ashamed when they commit their uncleanness. God. How many miracles did he perform in front of that great ark in Zion when he was leading the people of Israel? God how many miracles did not happen in front of the ark? Did not all the flocks of Egypt perish? God as long as we honor him in front of the ark, in front of the word, in front of the ark of the law, if we stand and walk in purity, holiness, and goodness according to the commandments, will not all the things that bother you here today be a curse. Won't they disappear in a minute's prayer? Won't they be removed? Yes, they will be removed. So, my fellow Ethiopians, the families of the light of the world, this basic education, especially the Ethiopian Tuhedo faith. Tuhedo faith.
our covenant symbol, green, yellow, red, the union of these three alliances, what is their place and place in Ethiopianism? Without understanding this secret, without understanding this truth God those of you who walk in a hurry without understanding why she loved this name, which she respected more than all other names of God. Permission of God instead of forgetting the truth from the real source, think for business, robbery, theft, deception I swear those who refused to listen to them even for a second through their priesthood sitting on the top of the house by God it is an evil deed that punishes you. Today, the believer himself has reached the time when he will be asked for this mistake. The believers themselves, these apostates who are trading as priests in our unified orthodox faith, settled in our church, because they do not receive a strong response from the people, they are not taken into account. By God face abandons himself and puts all his worship on man and is disappearing. That is why when the people are punished together, he is punished together. He was given a mind and he was given a mind to weigh. Put this in your conscience and use your mind as a tool to separate the good from the bad God he gave it to him. It is up to him to use that. Let's finish from where we left. Off, Deuteronomy 30, and then we will return to our basic point of being Ethiopian. This is the order that I give you today. We stopped at chapter 30 verse 11 of Torah Deuteronomy. He says that this order that I command you today is not difficult, and it is not far from you. Who will go up to heaven and bring her to us so that we can hear her? She is not in heaven. Who will cross the sea for us and bring her to us so that we can listen to her? She is not across the sea. But the word is very close to you in your mouth and in your heart so that you can do it. That's it, folks. May his will be with us first. May we have his will. Let us obey. We have a clear heart God let us have a heart that sees, but the word is in your mouth and in your heart. 15. Ethiopian education. It's close. It's actually an amazing word. He says look. Before you today, life and goodness in one line, I have placed death and evil. God he says look. Today I set before you life and goodness and again death and evil. And that you may live and multiply, your God God may your God bless you in the land you should inherit I swear that you may love and take heed in the way I swear to love comes first, and then to walk in the way, I command you today to keep the commandments, the ordinances and the judgments, said Moses the servant of God slave Moses from God when he revealed his direct orders to his people. But if your heart is broken and you do not listen, if you are deceived, if you bow down to other gods and worship them, I tell you today that you will be completely destroyed, you will not prolong your days in the land that you are going to cross over the Jordan to possess. As I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, I make heaven and earth witness against you today, therefore choose life, that you and your descendants may live, and God that you may dwell in the land which he swore to my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them, for he is your life and the length of your days. I swear choose to love him, wait for him, and listen to his words. He also gave advice. My friends, if we choose life and goodness, what will follow us, what will the blessing look like, based on what has been explained in the last three chapters? Again he says, I will bring death and evil to you. And if we choose this evil and death, how to destroy the nature of the curses, all in detail in these three chapters. By God it is clearly stated in the word in the time of our fathers. So today we are telling the truth of God when we deliver the truth to you, especially the essence of Ethiopianism, we learned the history, we researched, we fought with this, this border was widened, this land rose up here. We fought with this, we secured it from here, this government fell like this, this government rose and this is the story of the flesh. That's right. But Ethiopianism from the spiritual point of view by God the reality is different. The meaning is different. So, my people, in general, what does the diabolical standard of citizenship look like in the world now? 
First, every person has given him the choice to put his hand on fire, or water, darkness or light, according to the choice of his will. According to his choice, if he chooses fire, darkness and falsehood, his money will belong to the devil. If he chooses water, light, truth, his choice I swear and it will be his will. Accordingly, the person who chooses darkness lies from the moment of his choice from God identified. Therefore, his knowledge, his thoughts and his life are all explored in the way that the devil has prepared for him. Our entire earth is filled with the path of darkness, the choice of generations who chose the devil and his will. This is what we see publicly today, 99% of the world's population of more than 8 billion is the devil. Of course, even though the devil does not directly force us to choose this, he has laid down ways, ideas, and strategies that will help us as much as they force us. And everyone knows very well that the human being who works hard for the satisfaction of the flesh he wears, who wants to live happily and comfortably in this world, is defeated by his flesh. Therefore, as our forefathers used to say, bring the flower wherever you go, and the devil has searched for people to steal, steal, lie, deceive, and kill. This is not a problem, but it is a philosophy that says to get the results for the body by any means. 16. Ethiopian Education In the eyes of the devil, citizenship means a method and a name to keep the people in one area to suit the government. This is why citizenship has no other name for the devil. That is why the whole world is out of Ethiopia. All names of many countries that do not make sense. Look at the names of many countries that do not make any sense. They will not answer you. Just like them, our generation can't explain the meaning of Ethiopianness if you ask it, so the devil has spent many thousands of years trying to make this generation lost and at odds with its creator. From now on, from your grandfather to your ancestors, the devil led them down the path of destruction, and when they died, he made them enter hell and then become the children of hell. This is it, my people, when we see from the word, when we see what the foundation is. When we see what cursing is, we have seen what blessing is. When we reach the potential knowledge for the potential understanding God when we choose one of the life choices that he has made, it means that we will take over all the consequences of that choice. So Ethiopianism. God he has given us a great blessing. It's not so brief, it's deep. With this act, as we can see, today, the whole world, including our country, is in the hands of the devil. This is an undeniable, irrevocable, unchanging truth. Ethiopianism God we said he chose, so let's see. Being Ethiopian is an honor. Ethiopianism is peace. Ethiopianism is a balance. Ethiopianism is a mystery. Ethiopianism is chosen by the Creator, it is loved and it is glorious. There is a mystery in it. It is. Not because they wish to be Ethiopian, or because it is written on an identity card, or because. They know it only to be registered on a passport for citizenship. Today, many in our country. Hate Ethiopianism by God they don't know what a face is. As we can hear and see, different species in Ethiopia have been buried in the buffer of their race and launched a campaign against Ethiopianism. They are campaigning to destroy Ethiopianism openly and openly. A nation or a species has fallen into a subtle enmity attack. In these two races, the GLOW campaign is continued by those who claim to be intellectuals. So, when we look at why all this is happening, this Amara people who live scattered all over Ethiopia are people who believe that they are Ethiopians. A long campaign was conducted to break this spirit. Who made the campaign look like it is today? The main engineer is the devil who has been destroying people in the past. His tools are in the shape and form of the secret societies that have been handed down for more than 700 years. They are the devil's direct tools. It is these members of the secret society who have been planted in every country by the secret society, who decide whether they have developed countries or not. Any government body that is said to have gained power 
through people's own efforts is a devil's trick called democracy. And to instill him in the hearts of the people. In no way has public consent been exercised. But he doesn't know. It's all a play. The play that is left to us by the devil's tools is a way of feeding, shaking, and buying evil people, which is done by secret societies and is done through their children. It is also a way of destruction. Therefore, the beliefs of the whole world, whether it is a bishop, whether it is a sheikh pastor or anything else, cannot come to the top of the beliefs without the approval of this secret society. Under the United Nations. 17. Ethiopian Education. All the branches of the Arab League, the African Union, Europe, Latin America, and all the organizations established in different continents of Asia are ordered, directed, and elected by the same secret organization by obeying the direct organization or command station of the devil. When you look at military organizations, say NATO, which are established in Africa and claim to maintain peace, all the alliances of military organizations in any country in Asia are under the control of this secret society. So it means the line of power. The entire intelligence network, the CIA of major countries, intelligence agencies, police forces, the international police force called Interpol, and all those who conduct intelligence in general, are members of this association. Or they are the people planted by this association. When it comes to money and insurance, like the World Bank, IMF, international institutions, everything that is established cannot be without the agents of this hidden association, but it does not know. They take control of everything, according to the culture, according to the way of the people, according to the system of the government. This is not all. Any government or organization other than this secret association, religious institution, economic institution,